Okay, as you see here, I have uh, four versions of Flight Simulator. This is a three and a half inch floppy for version 5.0, which I believe is basically just like a Flight Simulator 95. Uh, only reason I didn't install this and test this is I don't have a floppy drive anymore. All I have is CD-ROMs and they're about ready to go too. Uh, I did load up Flight Simulator 98, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Two CDs. I also f loaded up Flight Simulator 2002. And finally, the last one I had bought was Flight Simulator 2004, and I loaded that, and that's what I currently have. So we're going to demonstrate uh, the compatibility of these four uh, flight simulators from Microsoft on Windows 8. So the first one I tried to load up was Flight Simulator 98. Uh, it works on Windows 7, except uh, as soon as you start flying and you change views, the preview goes, I mean, the screens for the landing and fields and everything, and the view all goes black. So it doesn't really work, but it does load and run. Uh, I'm still tweaking it a little bit, but it really doesn't matter because, uh, as you can see here, when I run it run on Windows 8, uh, it crashes as soon as it tries to load. And I've tried to fix this by several different means as far as changing settings and all that goes, but it just doesn't, won't run on uh, Windows 8. So instead, I will install Win uh, Flight Simulator 2002, ran fine, decided to get rid of that and install Flight Simulator 2004, which is what we're going to look at in a little bit in depth here. And you'll see here that it launches up uh, just, just perfectly fine, the, the 2004 version. Uh, comes up and you can do all the settings. No previews for the aircraft and things. Again, some things aren't 100% perfect. But you'll notice that there it is. Looks just like Windows 8. Everything looks, I mean, excuse me, like Flight Simulator uh, 2000 or 98 or whatever. It's a, here's a low red version with a little uh, aircraft and everything, a little Cessna and everything. Responsive, I'm using a joystick controller. Everything's working fine. So now what we'll do is after we look at this, we're going to switch over to some different planes to show you the different planes. One that comes with it, and the one that comes with it is, uh, oh, which I'm going to change resolutions first. So I'm going to go in here and take advantage, see if I can take advantage of my high-end video card. And sure enough, it recognizes my card and the screen resolution that I'm going to be running at. So a very high resolution, and I'm going to tell it to go to full screen. And full, so we do that, and we hit OK, and you'll see that uh, it takes it a second to adjust, and we go to... Bam, full screen view, high definition, really nice. Looking forward to the 2004 version. So then we're going to, like I said, we're going to switch over to different aircraft. We're going to try the one that comes with it. There's a sports plane that comes with Windows 8, if anybody, or excuse me, with a flight simulator. Uh, many people have used it. I've turned on sound now. You have also can download thousands of planes. I've downloaded many, many planes. This is my favorite. I was with the SR-71 program for eight years when I was in the military, so this is my favorite plane. This is a very advanced version of the SR of, as far as the games go. This actually is designed to work on Flight Simulator X uh, as well. It uh, runs fine. All control surfaces work. I can't get the afterburners to work. So I went back and found my files from an older version of the SR. This is it at dusk with full afterburners on and everything. Again, flies very nice, very uh, smooth and everything. You, you, can hardly, you can't hardly see it because I'm at dusk. but. Uh, it does everything you would expect a flight simulator to do. It also has fully functional uh, landing gear and all that. We could we could uh, lower all that. There we go. We lower all that there and everything. You see that it does work and everything. So if you like uh, flying, you can use these aircraft to do that. You can find Airbuses. You can find uh, Harriers. You can find anything you want. And it all seems like there's no problem working. Now, certain version of aircraft work with certain versions of flight simulator. You have to be careful. So lastly, we're now looking at the new flight simulator from Microsoft where you don't really buy the game. The game is free and you just can buy different things. You can buy different planes, different uh, scenery content. Downloadable content's the big thing now, but as you can see, very detailed, very smooth, very nice. I sort of got behind in the uh, tutorial here, so I'm making some hard turns here to try to catch up. But uh, it looks very nice and everything. Uh, operates really good. I'm using the joystick again, the same joystick on this version as well. Uh, it depends upon what you want. I'm not sure you're going to be able to download your own planes to this and everything, so it depends upon what you want to do. But if you like flying simulators and you like to do different things, take a look at it, take a check at it. Uh, you'll probably enjoy it as much as you had all the other versions as soon as you get used to the new format. So that's my reviews of uh, Flight Simulator 
get rid of the old ones, start on 2002, 2004, play with those, and upgrade when you can because it's really an enjoyable experience if you're into flight simulation.